welcome back in this app we are going to learn to code how to press a button and change the background color of the JFrame and there is also a display given this display will show you which color has been painted so how to code this so we begin by writing the main method public static void main it will take string arguments and from here we can call the constructor public change app then we code the constructor so public color change app and here you can provide you know that this has a J frame let's call it F and give the title of the J frame so change color by button click let's first display this window so F of set size you have to provide what will be the size of this window say 500 by 500 I will use my favorite layout which is null <laughs> and Java Java you know the layout could can be a pain but for keeping this simple for now let's use uh, the null layout where you have full control on where each component can be placed so when you press the cross the X button on top of the J frame 3 stands for exit the application should exit and finally since nothing is visible till you write this line of code so you have to say f dot set visible true for the J frame to pop up and show you something let's see what happens when we run this So you have a window you've given the title change colors by button click and there's nothing in it so let us imagine you want to come down by 50 units and come to the right from the edge by 50 units and here at this location you want a button let's add a button we'll call this button as click me very catchy all right and get the imports import java x dot swing dot j button you've got the import now and let us decide where this will be placed so say b dot set bounds 50 units from the top 50 units to the right maybe 100 unit wide and 20 unit uh, high and then add this to the frame f dot add b let us see what has happened so yeah now we have the button but nothing has been coded on how you know the button should respond for this we have to uh, implement something called as an action listener interface so the action listener interface has uh, you know uh, given you uh, the skeleton of what should be done when you press the button so here i will add implement implements action listener you hover your mouse over this and you will see import action listener interface so once you imported action listener you need to implement so there is a method provided in, in the interface which is known as let, let's add an implemented method here and you see that this action perform method is imported 
which has no body there is nothing inside it so you will code what should the button do when this button is pressed so maybe it should uh, change colors but change colors of what of the frame so how do you get to the frame by by adding this method known as get content pane so you can't really paint on top of the jframe you have to import you have to use this method get content pane and once you do this it is possible for you to paint on the jframe and see we will add some background so there will be a color which will be used here say color dot red Let's import the color class. Import color. So Java dot org dot color is imported. You see that this F or the name of the J frame is uh, underlined. You know, it's it's not really recognizing. So what we have to do is this J frame has to be declared somewhere here. Once you do that, that error will go away. Let me show you. So now you see everything turns blue, and uh, Java is able to recognize this method is actually able to. The method has recognized that there is a JFrame existing. Okay. Something about scope of variables. Let us see what's happening when we press this button now. So I have this button. I click it. Nothing happens. Why? because there is one missing line of code so whatever is happening here is basically somebody speaking to listen you have to have ears so i'm going to add those ears now so this j frame should have ears f dot add action listener this j frame all right Yeah, I'm sorry. The action listener, the ears are added to the button. So uh, the button uh, and not the frame. So uh, you add the the ears to the button. You import, you implement the action listener interface. And here you write the implementation. So when I press this button, the frame, get the frame and then set background of the frame with some color say color dot red implement the action listener write what should happen to the frame and this button should have an additional line of code add action listener to this part to this all right and if let, let us see what is happening now so if i press this button now click me you see that color dot red has happened okay so the frame is painted with red color i want to randomize this i do not want it to have one color but let us say we want to have random colors so see color is represented by this triplet rgb let me randomize each one of them so i say integer r is equal to mat dot random when i say mat dot random a random number between 0 and 1 is generated this is a decimal so anyways i have to change this to an integer i have to cast it to an integer now let me tell you that uh, this doesn't include 1 it includes 0 but it doesn't include 1 so the upper bound is excluded if i multiply this with 256 I will have a range between 0 and 255 and 256 will be excluded so this is now truly random let me copy this each element of r sorry r g and b red green and blue colors is randomized now and my random color let me call it as color c is new color r g and b 
and then now when I press the button I do not want a red color but I want a random color see let us see what happens when I run this code and so I have a J frame with change colors by button click title there's a click me button every time I press this you get a new color now I also want to know being a programmer you know I want to know what color has been painted on the frame so let me add a text box somewhere here say 50 units right of the button and let it show me uh, you know the elements of the color so let's do that since you know I want to access I want to add a J text field and I want to access that text field I need to change it through this method block of code let me again declare it here sorry text field let's get the imports done java extension dot swing dot j text field imported all right so where is this j text field first let us call its constructor j text field tf is equal to new j text field set its bounds say 50 units to the right so this is starts at 50 100 units wide 150 add another 50 so this becomes x is 200 all right so it starts at 200 x y is 50 and it's broad by 100 units and high by 20 units this text field has to be added to the frame let us see what has happened I run this so now I want to set the text of this text field once I click the click me button so I come into this block of code which has the action performed what to do when the button is pressed also this text field tf set its text as r g and b so the color is R plus G and B. This should work. Let us see. So I have this uh, J frame, there's a button. If I click it, nothing happens something went wrong yeah so you have already you know declared j text field tf at this level so uh, this line of code you can just write tf is equal to new j text field and then once i press the button what should be the action performed it should change colors of the frame by getting the content and setting the background to C which is a random color and TF should have a set text method running on it which fills it with the color is plus R G and B values are taken from the numbers let us run this and see what happens so once I say click me it says color is and it gives you the color maybe I should increase the width of J text field here let us put it to 150 and let us see what happens now so I have this J frame this which has a button and when I click click me it randomizes the J frame color and also prints the color for you so you should know what color is being printed Thanks a lot.